everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I am currently in Hoi An, Vietnam. Uh, and today I would like to talk to you about how to get a Bitcoin wallet. Uh, but in particular, I'm going to be talking about how to get a Mycelium Bitcoin wallet. Now this is a bit more of an advanced Bitcoin wallet. Um, more advanced than the ones I've covered thus far. Um, and the reason I wanted to touch on this wallet in particular is because there's going to be a bit of a throwback to a couple of my previous tutorial videos. And I'm going to link them up with this wallet and show you how to use a few of these special features in it. So without further ado, let's take a look at Mycelium. All right, so this is what the app is gonna look like when you first download it. You're just gonna hit new wallet here, and it then asks you to shake your iPhone in order to create uh, the random movements that will create the seed for your wallet. Um, basically, it's just a randomly generated wallet. That's what you're doing. Then you're gonna hit a backup now. When you hit that button, just like in other wallets, it's gonna give you a 12 word phrase that you're gonna to have to write down. So you can see here, here's my first word is salt. And then spring. And I'm gonna write down all of these words in a row. At the end, it's gonna ask me to put them in again, in order, just to ensure I've written them all down. Once I put them back into the phone, it says the backup is complete. You should always put this phrase somewhere safe but after that, you have your new wallet. Okay, so I had to put this in after the fact, uh, but I started using an iPhone uh, with this video. I downloaded Mycelium. I hadn't used it on uh, iOS yet, uh, but I went ahead, I, I started up the wallet, and I went to go and do all the things that I normally do on my own phone, and I soon found out that I couldn't. A lot of the functionality that you get from the Android version is not currently in the iOS version. Um, and the extra features are kind of why I use Mycelium. Um, so I've got to say the Android version is great. The iOS version in its current state kind of sucks. Um, it's, it's almost kind of dumbed down a little bit. It's, it's, it's very simple. Um, and because of that, you can't do a lot of the things that I wanted to do. So I did switch back over to Android. So that's why in this next clip here, uh, for actually for the rest of the video, it's going to look different. It's got a black color scheme instead of the white that you were looking at at the beginning. Um, the setup process is still very much the same. There might be a, a couple little nuances that are different. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, this is Mycelium on Android. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the basic functionality of the wallet. First, we're going to receive some money by hitting receive. You can see your QR code is there that somebody could scan. But I'm going to hit the copy to clipboard down at the bottom, and that copies my Bitcoin address, which I can then text to somebody. So if I were to text it to somebody, they could go into one of their wallets, paste it into the to field, they would then enter whatever they wanted to send me. In this case, I'll put in $5. And then I'm gonna hit the send button on my wallet. There's a quick confirmation here. And the funds are sent. So now let's go back into Mycelium. So I will go back into that app. And you can see at the top there, it says incoming payment. If I hit the back button, Back to my main screen, my balance screen, you can also see receiving uh, just shy of five Canadian dollars. Now let's see how to send. Uh, pretty much the same as all my other wallet videos. I'm gonna hit send. Um, this time, I'm actually gonna do it as if somebody had texted me their wallet address. So I'll just uh, go back into Copay here and I will copy my wallet address really quickly. So if somebody had texted me their address, I would hit clipboard. As long as I have it copied, it will paste it right in as the recipient address. I'm gonna hit amount. I'm gonna send it all back. So I'm gonna hit that max button at the bottom. You could change that if you wanted. And then I'm gonna hit the send button. 
So I shot that off. It is all gone now. If I go back into the other wallet, you can see there's the pop-up to show that uh, I have received those funds back into my wallet. And that's it. Pretty basic. All right, next we're going to take a look at how to use paper wallets. I've got a crudely made paper wallet right here. If you don't know what this is, then take a look at my other video. But on the left is your public key, on the right is your private key. We're going to use both of these for this video. So let's go into Mycelium. And we're going to go up to the top left where it says Accounts. When I hit that, at the very top, I want to hit the little key with the plus sign. So I'm going to add an account. If you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to hit the Advanced button. Once I hit that, there are a lot of options here. You can see all the way down. Um, a lot of these are hardware wallets, which I did talk about. We're going to be using one in a little bit, but for now I'm going to hit the Scan button up at the top. This allows me to scan a QR code. So I'm going to take that paper wallet, I'm going to scan the QR code on the left. That's my public address. So what you do is when you scan a public address, it allows you to view how much is in that account, but it doesn't allow you to spend it. So it's kind of like um, locking your funds in a vault, but being able to check that they're still there. All right. Right now there's no money in it, but uh, I can still see uh, the balance of that account. So maybe let's try putting some money into that account. So I'm going to open up my other wallet here. Um, and I'm just going to send it, uh, eh, let's just do $5. So I'm going to scan the QR code. I'm going to hit five Canadian dollars here. And I'm going to hit the send button. All right, once that goes through, uh, let's go back to Mycelium. So we've got that account, and there we go. You can see that uh, it just showed up. So again, notice that it doesn't have, you can see the receive button at the bottom, but it doesn't have a send function. So what do you do if you want to spend your money from that wallet? So you're going to hit the, uh, the little button up in the top right, and you're going to hit cold storage. From here, we're going to hit QR code. This allows us to scan the right QR code. That is your private key. This allows you permission to send the money. All right, so I'm going to hit send here. I'm going to choose from my addresses, just my main account when I started this wallet. And you have to send uh, your choice of how much. I'm going to hit max. I'm going to clear out that wallet. And I'm going to hit the send button. All right. So it should be all sent. If I go back, I can see that I have received funds into my main account from that paper wallet. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys is how to use your Ledger Nano with Mycelium on your phone. All right, and we're going to be using a few items here. Now, first off, um, I'm going to go into my accounts in the top left, and I'm going to go into my Ledger account. I set this up earlier. There are videos on this which I will link to. So again, you can only send money with your Ledger. In fact, I've got a few things here. First, I've got my Ledger Nano. You can see I had a video about this before, which I'll link to. Um, but yeah, it's just a little USB thing here. Uh, I've got my Ledger Wallet security card. We're going to be using that. And I've got this little dongle that I ordered from Ledger as well, which allows me to use the device with my phone. So in my Ledger account, I'm going to hit send. Um, I already copied and pasted a, a QR code here, uh, but I'm just going to send, again, five bucks. And when I go to send that money, uh, when I hit the send button here, it's going to ask me to connect my ledger to my phone. So here's what we do. We're going to put the ledger into this dongle, all right, snaps into place. From there, we're going to attach it to the phone. Now, when we attach it, this is what it looks like. Yes, it's big, it's unsightly, it's awful. It doesn't fit in the frame, so I can't really film it, but that's what it is. It's new technology and it's being tested. So anyways, 
That's what it looks like. It's still, it, it works the way it's supposed to. So uh, it asked me to enter my pin, which I've set up in advance. It's gonna bring up a string of characters and that's where we use our Ledger Wallet security card. All right, I explained that in the other video. You just go through the steps and match up the characters. And once I've done that, it will sign and broadcast a transaction and those funds have been sent. Uh, if I go into my Copay app here again, you can see, boom, there we go, just arrived. All right, I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. Um, if you are getting used to your regular Bitcoin wallet or you're a bit more of a techie person, then I highly recommend checking out Mycelium for some of the more advanced features that it offers. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Share this video for anybody you think may benefit. And I will see you next time on the BTC Sessions. Uh -huh.